This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. everyone so welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm dropping today i will be showing you step-by-step -step video guide on how to upload my latest bitcoin investment script okay so i'll be showing you step-by-step -step guide on how you'll be able to upload this particular script in just few hours okay so the first thing you need to do is to um, buy a domain name and then also buy hosting so those are the first thing you need to do so i recommend buy hosting from Namecheap okay so you can as well buy domain name from Namecheap because that is the website I normally make use of when I want to buy my domain name and then um, hosting as well okay so after buying your hosting that's when you have access to this um, particular dashboard that you are seeing on your screen right now so I've already um, bought my domain name and then um, hosting that I will be using for the purpose of this training okay so after, after purchasing your hosting and then you've logged in um, the way you are seeing on your screen right now, the next thing you need to do is to change your PHP version because this particular script that you'll be working on, it's only work with PHP version 7.3, okay? So all you need to do is to uh, go over to this search bar over here and search PHP, all right? So you will see it here, select PHP version. So you will click on this particular one, okay? So I've already selected my current um, PHP version to 7.3. But if you purchase a new hosting, so your own will not be on a, in a 7.3. So you have to change it to 7.3. All right. So the next thing I will need to do right now is that I will need to create a subdomain name for the purpose of this training because I already have a website on the main directory of this of this particular um, domain name that i'll be using for the for this training so i will need to create a subdomain name all right so i will come over here and search for subdomain all right so this is the one here yeah? i'll search for subdomain then i'll click on the name that i want to give to the subdomain i want to create so i'll just click, i'll just type training here all right i'll click outside so as you can see right now so we are going to assess the website which is training.onlinetrust.cc all right so I will click on create. Okay. So as you can see right here, our subdomain name has been created successfully. So I will click on this cPanel logo over here to go back to the cPanel dashboard. Okay. So the next thing I will need to do right now is to click on file manager. I'll click on file manager. Then I will have to locate the particular subdomain name we just created, which is training. Okay. This is it over here, training.onlinetrust.cc. I will click on it. So these are the default folder that comes along with the um, subdomain name. So I will have to delete those um, those folders. Okay, I've already selected them. I will click on um, delete over here. Okay, so this um, domain name, sorry, this subdomain name is empty right now. So we have to upload our scripts. So to do that, I will click on upload over here. So I, I will have to go to my um, system and drag the script so this is the script right here this is the script i will have to drag it over to the c panel i will drop it here all right so the uploading is complete so all we need to do is to click on this particular session that says go back to home so i will click it so this is the zip file we just uploaded so i will click on the zip file then right click then i will click on extract okay so the files are extracting right now the zip file is extracting okay so i will click on close so those are all the files of the website so i can delete the zip file right now because we don't need it anymore I can delete it i'll trash it okay so those are the files of the uh, website that will be needed okay so the next thing that we need to do right now is to create the database for our website so to create the database you will go back to your um, cpanel dashboard then you will locate my sql database wizard all right so i will click on my sql database wizard i will give my database a name so let's say i want to call this database training okay so i will just have to copy that then i will give my database a username as well okay i'll just have to paste 
the training I tab over there. Then I will have to um, create a password for my um, database user. So I can just come here and then generate password. Okay, I will copy it. So you have to make sure you paste it somewhere because you'll be needing this password. It's very important. You must paste it somewhere. Very, very important. Okay, so I will click on create user. All right. So the next thing I will do is that I will copy both my database um, user and then the database name. So I will do something like this. I will copy it. Then I will come here. I will paste it here as well. All right. So I will click on these all privileges. Then click on make changes. Okay. As you can see here, our database has been created successfully. All right. So you can just, you can click on return home over here to go back to the cPanel dashboard. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do after creating our database is to come over to um, that is the place where we uploaded our script. Okay, so you come over to this particular session. Then normally, this particular file, this is where we are going to do our um, database configuration, this dot env. But if you, on your own cPanel, normally, it won't show this particular dot env files. So the, what you need to do if you're always not showing is that you have to come over here, you click on settings, so from settings, you'll make sure you, you click you click this particular place that says show hidden files. Okay? So after clicking on this um this place here, then you click on save. Alright, so that's when the .env file will show. Done it already. I already done it on this particular um C panel. That is why everything is showing as we go to this particular session. So I'm just telling you what to do in case you are not seeing this .env file on your own. Okay. So after after doing that, then you have to click on the files then right click click on edit okay click on edit so this is the place where we are going to do our um, database um, configurations this particular place i just highlighted here yeah? so we'll come here like this i'll go over to the place where we where we paste our database details so i'll copy our database um, user sorry yes our database name so this is our database name. So our database name and our, our database username, they are both having the same name. So I'm going to copy it like this. Then I'll come here. I'll paste. Then I'll come down again. I'll paste. Then I'll, I'll copy our database password, which is this one. I'll copy. Then I'll paste it here. I'll paste it right here. Okay. So the next thing I'll do to, need to do is that I'll need to paste our um, website URL over here. So I'll come over here like this. Okay, I'll copy our website URL. Okay, let me check it before I, I copy. All right, so SSL is not yet active. So I'll just copy it like this. Then I will paste here. All right, so I'll paste here. Then I will save. So that's how to do the um, database configuration. So that's what we just did. It's not that difficult. It's very easy something to do. So the next thing that we need to do right now is to upload our database file. So to do that, you scroll down, you locate PHP my admin. Okay. So this is it over here. I will click on PHP my admin. Okay. So we are in PHP my admin right now. Then. And we have to locate our database which we created earlier so our database name is um, training so this is it over here i'll click on it so after clicking on it i will i will i will click on import all right so i want to import our database file right now so i will click on import so I'll, it will take me to this particular session then i will click on choose file okay so this is the database file over here i will have to um click on it then click open so after clicking open i will scroll down and click on go out some guys so our database file are, is uploading right now it will take some time to complete okay guys so as you can see right now our database files have been uploaded successfully okay so the next thing that we need to do is to go back to our website so this is the website okay this is the website homepage. So I'm going to show you how to change everything, how to change those write-up from, from the admin um, dashboard. So you can change the the write-up, you can change the images, both these plants and um, 
so on and so forth you can change everything from the admin dashboard okay so you can i will show you the step by step um video guide on how to make those changes so you can change those phone number those email address those address everything you can change everything with, with just very easy steps so they are not complicated you can do everything by yourself from the admin dashboard okay so the next thing that we need to do right now is that i will we'll have to log into the admin dashboard first before before we create a user account okay so i will i will okay so this is the admin login link so i'll have to do something like this now before we're able to log into the admin session okay okay which means your domain name dot com or dot the extension slash admin login slash login so that's the admin login link i will click on enter all right so i will have to put the um, admin email and then admin password okay i'll do that then all right so i'll click on sign in okay guys as you can see right now we have successfully logged in into the admin session of um the website so this is the admin session so this is where you're able to make a lot of changes to your website okay so but the next thing i will need to do right now on this admin session i want to um disable the email alerts okay so i'll come over here i'll click on um, okay i'll click on preference then i will disable i'll disable the email alert okay so i will tell you the reason why i did that um later on okay so this is the admin dashboard as you can see so we have a total deposit we have the pending deposit we have the total withdrawal we have the pending withdrawal and so on and so forth okay so we have the um investment plans so you can change the investment plans you can add new one you can edit already existing one you can delete already existing ones so let's say for example i want to edit this particular one so you have to click on this session then you can change the name change the uh, plan price then you can change the minimum um, price so and so on and so forth you can make all the necessary changes then click on update okay so you can as well create new plans you can create new plans over here okay so we have the um we have the manage users so you can manage users so those are already registered users on this particular website so because i uploaded the um the website database so those those users they are already on the web on the database i uploaded so that's why they are they are showing here okay then we have the manage dw okay which is manage deposit and withdrawal all right so this is where you manage um the deposits so if user want to deposit in your in their account so this is where you're going to approve or delete such deposit okay then if user want to withdraw if user place a withdrawal so this is where you are going to see um everything for you to approve the withdrawal okay then we have the we have the um, administrators okay so you can add admin to this particular website okay maybe for example you want to add um someone as admin so that they will be able to manage on um, the website in case you are not available okay but you don't want to give such person your own login details so you can just create admin for the person so that you're able to manage the webs this website also okay then we have um the app settings okay we are under the settings we have the app settings over here all right we have the um, website information so in this particular session you can change the website name then change the website title then we have the um, website keyword you can change it here then we have the um, website um url so you can you can change it so let's let me ch change this one right now so i can do something like this now all right so these are website url then we have the website description you can change the website description also so we have announcements so you can change you can change the an, uh, right up here the announcement right up so i will show you once we uh, register a user account so you will see where um, this announcement will be showing okay so we have the uh, live chat widget code so if you want to add live chat to your website like talk to so this is where you will paste the um, website code so that it will be reflecting on your website then we have the um, website logo so you, this is where you paste this is where you upload the website logo so that it will um, display on your website okay then we have the website fever icon so you can do that also from this particular um session all right so we have the um preferences so this is where you put your company email so you have to just change this particular one to your own company email then then you click on save all right then we have the um referral setting so from this particular session now you're able to like um type the particular percentage a user 
So you type the particular percentage a user will get if he or she uh, refer um, someone to your website. Okay, so you can also set registration bonus. So in case someone register on your website, he or she will get a particular um, amount as registration bonus. Okay, so then we have the um, payment settings. So in this particular payment setting, this is where you will be able to um, configure the payment for your website, the payment that your um, user would make payment to in case they want to invest. As you can see, there are various um, payment methods here, so you can configure them. So let's say, for example, that this particular Bitcoin payment method, I want to um, do some configuration here. So you can change this particular session now this Bitcoin wallet. You can change it to your own Bitcoin wallet. Then let's say, okay, if you want to, if you want to add the QR code, your Bitcoin QR code, then you have to paste the QR code link here so that it will display or you can decide to upload it um, directly. You can just decide to choose file, okay? Whichever way you want, all right? So you can configure everything to suit your taste, to suit the type of work you are doing, okay? So this particular um, Bitcoin investment script is very flexible, all right? So after doing all those changes, then you just have to click on save, all right? So there are various payment methods you can add. You can add uh, many as many payment methods as possible. You can even add um, bank transfer. You can add PayPal. You can add Paystack. You can add Stripe. You, uh, you can add Litecoin, Ethereum, ETC. Okay. So that's for that. Then we have the okay. The next part I want to show to you guys is the um, front end settings. All right. Through this admin dashboard, you can be able to change the right of that is showing on the website front end. Okay, so you can change the information that is displaying on this particular front end. So without you needing to, you know, go into the coding session, all right, you can do everything from the admin dashboard. So you can see right here, see how can I withdraw? So those are frequently asked questions. So let me show you here. So this is it right here on the uh, on the front end of the website. So this is it. You see, um, okay, can I earn profit every day? So you can change the right up here. You can change everything here. You can edit. You can decide to edit. Then update the right of then you can decide to say okay let me just say um let me change this one to welcome so that you see that everything will change on the um, front end welcome okay welcome to all right so i'll update it right now all right i just changed the the heading on the on the um, admin dashboard so let me refresh it over here now let me refresh it and see if this particular uh, how can I withdraw will change to welcome to easy tech solution okay so uh let me refresh so as you can see it has changed to welcome to easy tech solution so that's how to change the right of so that's for the um, faq which is frequently asked question so you can come over here let's say you want to change the um testimony there's a testimonial as well so you can change the testimonial right here so you can edit now edit this one or you can decide to add new one or you can delete it entirely if you don't want testimony on your website then we have the website content so those are the website content okay so you can edit you can change everything everything that you are seeing here right now those um those write up those write up that you are seeing here so it's, th look at them here so in case you want to change any write up you want to change it back to your uh, company name so this is where you you do that okay so you can change everything you can decide to change the entire write up all right so that's how to to do that guys so these are these are awesome um bitcoin investment script with marvelous features so guys i'm trying my best to make sure i show you everything but a whole lot of things that i won't be able to show you in this particular video so you you find those ones out by yourself once you um, get these scripts okay so we have the uh, images so you can change the various images i change the various images Okay, so guys, that is all about uh, the uh, front page um, design. All right, so now we'll go over to to the um, user. All right, I will, I will have to register a user account so that we'll see how the um, user dashboard looks. Okay, we have been we have been on the admin dashboard since I've been trying to explain the various um, steps, the various um, features of the uh, admin dashboard. So right now we'll go over to the user dashboard. Okay, so now I will be using another browser. Okay, I will I will just copy the the link, the URL, then I will go over to my Opera Mini. All right, so I will paste it here. Okay, so to create a user account right now, so I will click on Get Started. So once I click on Get Started, it will take me to the user registration page. All right, so I will type um, username for my account. Okay, let's say um. 
easy tech okay i will use easy tech as my username then my full name let's say um easy tech solutions then email address okay so let's use this one as um as an email address then phone number i will select this as my phone number then password i will type in my password confirm password i will confirm my password as well all right so the country so let me just select any country from from here so if you have a um, referral id maybe if it's someone that is referring the user to the particular um website so you have to the user have to paste the um user referral id here so that that particular user will have a commission okay but if you don't have then you have to leave this place blank all right so then i'll click on register okay so awesome guys awesome so this is the um, user dashboard as you can see right here it said welcome easy tech solution so which is my full name all right so this is the user dashboard you can see how awesome it is how beautiful it looks so this is a well organized bitcoin investment scripts okay it's a well organized bitcoin investment script as you can see those are the various features as you can see right now this particular account is showing zero zero we have the um profit record so this account has not in any profit yet so that's why you are seeing, you are seeing this side is showing no data recorded in in table okay so we have the um transaction history no transaction history yet we have the um crypto exchange okay so you can also exchange your cryptocurrency cryptocurrency on this particular uh, website okay so this is the cryptocurrency exchange um, page we have the invest okay so we have the select plan so those are the plans that you you create from the admin dashboard okay once you create any uh, any um plan any investment plan it will show on the user dashboard as well okay so the user can easily invest on his or her preferred plans so those are the uh, various features of the um, user dashboard okay so if you if you remember i told you you can set the um you, you can set a, re a registration bonus on the account so if you i left that particular one at five dollars so that's why you see this account having five dollars as bonus as registration bonus so if you put it to zero which means there won't be any registration bonus okay so i will i will still go back there and show you how to do that all right so let's say if a user want to fund his or her account this is where he will click let's say if you click on fund account so those are the various payment methods that are available on this particular web website right now you can change them from the admin dashboard okay let's say i want to invest i want to um, fund my account with 500 dollars so after i'm um, typing the amount here then i will select the payment method i want to make use of let's say i want to make use of bitcoin i've already selected it so you are seeing it showing here showing um okay you are seeing it displaying here then i will click on proceed to payment all right awesome guys so as you can see right now you see um, bitcoin address so the user have to copy this bitcoin address and make payments okay so after making payments the admin will need to approve such payments from the admin dashboard okay so let's say for example i've made i've sent the payment of five hundred dollar five and uh, sorry five thousand dollar to this particular bitcoin wallet address then i'll have to send the proof along with it okay i will send the payment proof. you see upload payment proof after payment all right so let's say i will select the payment proof let me use this as our payment proof then i'll click on open then i will submit okay he said an uh, unaccepted image upload so i'll have to select uh, another image from my system let's say okay let me just select this particular one then i'll click on submit payment okay guys so as you can see right now he said account phone successful please wait for system to um validate this transaction okay guys so what he's trying to say now is that this particular um this particular payments that the user have made is under verification so the admin need to verify and approve the payments before it will reflect on his or her account so i'll go over to the admin dashboard right now then i will have to approve the transaction so that it will reflect on the user account okay so i'll come here so this is the admin account as you already know then i'll click on this um okay since the user is making with uh, deposit so i'll click on manage deposit okay i'll click on manage deposit so this is the account account i created and this is the amount which is five thousand dollar and the payment method is bitcoin and as, as you can see the status is is on is on pending so the admin will need to process this particular um, payment before it will reflect in the user account okay so i will click on process over here let's see i've already seen the bitcoin the five thousand dollar bitcoin payment 
to process. So you, you see the, the, stat, the status of the um, transaction has changed to process. All right. So we'll go over to the user account right now and refresh. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So as you can see right now, the $5,000 is already showing on the user account. $5,000 plus the uh, $5 registration bonus. So that's why you see it showing like this. So this is the total deposit. Why this one is the total bonus? Okay. So that's how to deposit um, money to, into your um, Bitcoin wallet address through this particular investment um, script. Awesome, guys. So I hope you are enjoying this particular video because I'm trying to take my time to explain every step bit by bit so that you will understand how this particular um, Bitcoin investment script work. Okay. So if a user wants to withdraw funds now, so that is when you will make use of this uh, withdraw funds. So the user have to confirm his or her password. Okay. Click on confirm. So after confirming, you have to select the particular um, payment, uh, the particular withdrawal method. Let's say it's a Bitcoin. Let's say I want to select Bitcoin as the uh, withdrawal method. So the user will need to um, enter amount to withdraw, then enter OTP. Okay. So the OTP is very important because the user will need the OTP to complete this particular um, transaction. Okay. So the, the user can get the OTP by clicking on um, request OTP. So the OTP will be sent to the user email address that you will need to complete the transaction. Okay. So that's about that. So the next thing I will, I will teach you, um, I will show you guys now is how to manually credit a user account okay from the admin dashboard so there are various um features there are various functions you can perform from the admin dashboard so you can credit a user account you can debit a user account you can do all sorts of things you can even log in the user account without having his or her password okay so let me go back to the admin dashboard and show you the step by step on guide on how to do that okay so to do that i will go to i will click on manage users all right so as you know already this is the user account we created um just now we created earlier so i'll click on manage okay so once i click on manage then i will i will select the particular action i want to perform in the user account so those are the various um those are the various actions that you can perform so you can use as you can see here we have the login activity we have the block we have the turn off trade we have the credit slash debit we have reset password you can even reset the user password you can clear accounts you can add tra trading history you can edit the user account you can send the user email okay then you can log in the user account so let's say for example now i want to um credit a user account from the admin dashboard so i will have to make use of this particular session that say debit slash credit okay so i will type in the amount let's say i want to credit the user account with um, 200 dollar 200 dollar then you select the particular uh, column which is if it's going to be bonus profit referral bonus account balance or deposit. so the particular um, section of the user um account that you want the, this particular 200 dollar to reflect let's say i want to credit it on a profit i want it to show on profit so i will click i will i will select whether it's debit or credit so definitely i'm crediting the account i will click on credit then submit okay so i've already added them um, 200 dollars to the user account so let me go back to the user account and refresh okay so as you can see right now the 200 dollars is already showing on the user account so this is awesome guys this is awesome so you see it's showing in a total profit because i added it to on um, profit all right so that's how to credit a user account manually from the admin dashboard okay so guys um i've tried my best to make sure i show you the various um feature of this particular script although there are a lot of things that um that are still available for you to know yourself once you purchase this um once you have this particular script so in case you need it you, you want you need it for your business so you can always contact me with the number showing on this video so this is awesome guys this is awesome you are going to enjoy every bit of this um script okay so thank you very much for watching my video please check my channel to see other videos which i've posted earlier thank you god bless you